Today, we are closer to providing them the justice they deserve. Since last June, our detectives and our task force, including the FBI, the ATF, the U.S. Marshal's Office, have been working nonstop. And finally, what we expected to happen did happen. Tips from within our own community led us to a possible suspect, and our investigation launched forward. Our team conducted exhaustive research and analysis of all known evidence to include witness statements, forensics, ballistics, surveillance videos, and so much more. The investigative team has found probable cause to arrest 23-year-old Aaron Sacedo for these crimes. Sacedo has been in custody for several weeks after his arrest for the homicide of Raul Romero, and today, Sacedo was rebooked into the Maricopa County Jail for 26 additional felony counts, including multiple counts of homicide, aggravated assault, and drive-by shootings. This arrest would not have been possible without the work of our Phoenix police officers, your Phoenix police officers, and our partnerships that we have with the FBI, the ATF, the Attorney General's Office, the U.S. Marshal's Office, and our local county and state law enforcement partners. The seamless integration of investigative resources and financial support brought this case to a successful resolution. Everyone involved has been remained committed to providing the justice that our victims and their families deserve and provide a fair and impartial trial for the suspect. In particular, I would like to take a moment to thank Assistant Chief Mary Roberts and her leadership and the entire investigative team, especially those from our homicide unit, for their tenacity and their dedication. This group so clearly represents the values that the Phoenix Police Department has. We appreciate your patience as we continue to work through the intricacies of this very complex and very large case. Our jury will soon hear all the evidence. So let me address some of the evidence that many of you may already be speculating over. It is true that we obtained evidence from the freeway shooter series to compare with our serial shooter series. The analysis of that evidence did not link these two series. Our investigators are still researching new evidence and sharing their findings with other agencies to determine if there are other crimes and unsolved crimes related to this series. As we turn over our investigation to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office for prosecution, we hope that our community will rest a little easier and that our officers will get a little more sleep knowing that the wheels of justice are finally in motion.